Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy and in this video we're going to show you exactly what you need to do to charge your FPV batteries correctly. A lot of guys charge them wrong, I've seen it and it is actually a very, very high risk. If you don't charge this correctly, there's a good chance you might burn your house down. That is not a joke, I'm very serious. LiPo fires are a massive danger and if you do it wrong, please, please don't do it wrong. Just watch this video, learn how to charge it correctly and save yourself from a lot of tears. So hopefully this video makes it simple for you. So it's also really easy to charge your batteries. There's not much that can go wrong unless you do something stupid. So I'll just tell you exactly what you need to do now so that you don't make any mistakes when you have to charge your batteries. So this specific charger that I have is a Hitec X4. It's a really nice charger because you can charge four different batteries at once. Um, but for this video though, we're just gonna be working with the one um, because you will most likely have a charger with only one charging port. It's not a problem if you only have one charger that charges um, one battery at a time. It's just that it is gonna take quite a bit longer for you to charge your batteries. So what you wanna do is, if I go back all the way here, um, this is the main menu. So most of them have a four push button system like this, and you can then scroll through all the different batteries here, you know, until you find where it says, program select LiPo bat, and then you press enter. So on enter, you have a few different um, options. This is how you scroll left and right, is with these middle two ones. You can scroll left, um, I mean right, then it's the LiPo balance, LiPo fast charge, LiPo storage, LiPo discharge, and LiPo charge. So LiPo charge, um, I would only recommend using if you are charging at a field and you're in a big rush to charge it, but I almost always charge a LiPo balance, and that allows you to charge all four of the different cells, um, if it's a four cell battery, um, the same amount. So what you wanna do then is you want to plug in your battery, and those banana plugs are then connected to your charger and then plug in the balancing lead onto your XH adapter. And this XH adapter is what allows you to charge all of your cells individually. So now the battery is plugged in and this specific battery, as you can see, it is a 1300 milliamp hour battery. So you will see now that it is charged on 2.6 amps. So Currently, this battery is getting charged at 2C, twice the amount of the capacity. So if this was, for example, a 2000 milliamp hour battery, um, to charge it at 2C, twice the capacity, is then four amps. That is how you would charge it at two times the uh, capacity. If it was, for example, a 1500 milliamp hour battery, then you would be charging it at three amps to have it charged at 2C. So. I usually charge my batteries at about 2C if I am in a fairly big rush. If I'm in a massive rush, I would charge it at 3C. So that is then even up to 3.9 amps, but that is only really if I'm in a huge rush and I need this charge straight away. Um, if I'm at a competition and I ran out of batteries or something silly like that. Um, if you're at home and you are gonna be charging your batteries, you have the time to um, you know, not worry about a very long time, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be charged really quickly, then you can just go down all the way to 1.3 amps, which will be a 1C charge. So 1C is just the standard charge, and um, that is probably the safest. If you charge it at a higher C rating, then some it does come become a little bit more dangerous in the sense of that if you do have a punctured battery there's a bigger chance that it might go out in flames or something like that but you shouldn't have even charged that battery in the first time so always just inspect your batteries as well to make sure that you know after a gnarly crash that it's not damaged so that when you do charge it it doesn't um, erupt in flames and then the last really important point before i hit the lipo balance let me grab my lipo bag so this is a LiPo bag, and this is really, really, really important. You always, always, always must charge a battery in a LiPo bag, because when you are charging it, that is the highest risk for it to go up in flames. So always put that in a LiPo bag before you charge your battery, and also always carry them around in a LiPo bag so you don't run into any problems. And then once you have that done, it's on one C charge. I'm gonna be around the house now and I'm gonna be in the same room that this is charging at. I can start to charge. So I'll hit the enter. It is a four cell battery. You can go up if it's a five cell, six cell or whichever way, um, all the way up to four cell. And then you can hold in the enter button. And then it'll say battery check. And oh, this one is low voltage. That means that I actually discharge this battery way too much 
and I might have even damaged it. So there's another thing that you need to do then if that happens, if that does happen to you, there are a few videos on YouTube which allows you to um, fix that. Let me grab another battery, put in this one. I don't think I maybe discharged that one so much. Let's just see what happens. Plug it in the same way, put it into the pouch, and then let's hit the charge button. Let's see what it says. And then it's going. They're telling me the voltage that the current bat battery is currently at. They're telling me at the amount of amps that it's charging at and the amount of time that it has charged and that is how much milliamp hours it has put back into the battery. If you push it aside, you can see the voltage for each one of the cells. And then if it um, charges properly, it'll balance all up to 4.2 volts. That is the final cutoff of the charging sequence. So that's it. If you have any questions in charging a battery, don't do anything silly else than, you know, charging it at 4C or, um, you know, doing something silly like that is just make sure that your batteries are in a good condition. Always charge them in a LiPo bag and always, always, if you are charging them at your house, stay in the same room. You do not want to go to a different room because if this does go up in flames, you can just plug all of this out in the thing and throw it outside and save your house. LiPo fires are a big danger and you don't want that happening to you. Now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you um, have any certainties, uncertainties, just ask me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll catch you guys in the next one.